must be great and uh, critical so I mean he had a couple couple big plays that probably could have uh, you know, could have done something with but he had some big ones that he did did make make hay with too so that's just part of being a young player and uh, you know, sometimes when you are a freshman like that you know you can just try to do too much and, uh, and next thing you know you kind of you, know, you just play, everything's fast. I think there were some times with him because he's fast and he's going to play at a level up here and then, you know, everything else is up there. And it's okay to play up there, but we need everything else to slow down a little bit. And that's that's kind of where he is right now. He's just very comfortable, um, you know, with, with where he is and his experience that he gained. So uh, it's going to serve him well for sure. He did a lot of great things for us, man. We don't win 10 games. You know, I know we missed a few plays, but we don't win 10 games without him. That's for sure. When Adam does come back, you have an idea of how much he might be able to help right away? Yeah, he'll help. He'll help as soon as we can get him back. You know, uh, as soon as they let him go, uh, he's, he was as good as we had this spring. He was awesome. So, as long, you know, he's got to pick back up and do it. And obviously, this is a different time of year and a lot more going on. And it's not spring practice where it's every other day and you got game plans and things like that. And he's going to be coming in, you know, kind of midstream. So, you know, once they, there'll be a, I'm sure once they do say, hey, you can go, there'll be a couple of weeks we just need to get him really acclimated to football. You can't just go play. Uh, you know, he's doing everything out here, but really just true, you know, game plan and things like that. But you know, he's, he's healthy. He can help anybody in the country. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I know it's just been a couple of days, but have you noticed any difference uh, with Hunter Johnson just from a technical standpoint? Uh, have I noticed the difference yeah. from, from from when he was last year? From well, he wasn't here in the spring, but uh, no, no, when he was here before. He oh, changed. oh, last year. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 He Much looks different player. He looks like he looks like a guy's only six year in college. Very confident. Very poised. Very mature. Great understanding. Uh, he looks very different than he did the last time I saw him here. As a as a retro freshman or whatever he was, uh, he, he's uh, he's 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 been impressive and just a just a great addition, great leader. Where is the Monte K part? A little behind because he you know was hurt you know for most of his first year and retro freshman year. Uh, from that standpoint, and, it, and behind that he doesn't have the amount of experience that he would have. Um, had he not missed so much time with injuries and surgeries and all that, but where he is right now, man, he's he's ready. He's ready, and I'm really proud of him. I mean, that little group of you know him and, and Peyton Page and Et, uh, those are those are those those all three of those guys are going to help us, and they're, they're going to really it's going to be a fun group to watch. All those guys can play for sure. So I'm proud of Kate. He's in a great spot physically. I mean, he's. I don't know what was he a little over 300 pounds. At one point, he was probably 330. You know, and he's just done a good job in all areas. All areas. He's just a much more mature, focused, conscientious, um, football savvy guy from when he got here. And again, he's healthy and, and he's got a chance to go compete now. Yeah, but has there been a position group that's really caught your eye to start these last, these first couple practices? Uh, probably the OL. You know, I mean, I think I think I'm not really disappointing anybody. I think all the groups have have really done what I hoped they would do. I mean, you got guys flashing here, or there, but you know, co probably collectively, you know, a lot of eyes on that OL right now, and uh, it's very obvious that that we're a deeper and better group. At right guard specifically, how have you seen that battle play out in those first three days? Well, I mean, they're just, you know, all competing and going through um, assignments right now. And, you know, nobody's out here busting assignments. But, again, we put the pads on tomorrow. we got a lot of physical work to do. But, you know, this it, is a, it's going to be fun to watch. It'll be a battle. It, not just that spot, but, you know, who's the best five? Because we got a lot of versatility as far as being able to move guys, to get the, whoever the best five is. And, and then I, you know, this is a this is one of those years where I, we're going to be deep. Instead of having six guys or seven guys, I think we're going to have, you know, a really really good solid second group that we that I think will be ready to play, and maybe even eleven or twelve. Uh, so I'm excited about that entire group. And and you know, it's not often that you true freshmen, you know, 
capable of helping you. But I mean, the two true freshmen we got, Sadler and, and Lake, are, they're not normal. Uh, they are definitely not normal. They've been here since January, so it's uh, they've been a great addition for sure. And then you know, going along with the guys from Richard last year and Tristan and Olympic. So, so it's a good group for sure. What have been your impressions of Will Taylor as he's been making the transition back to football? Doing good, quick, explosive. Uh, you know, it's it's only three days in, but just you know, we got we got a lot of every day he's learning. He's like a sponge out here. You know what I love about him is you know he, he's I mean he's got everything and he's so explosive. But just really technically polishing him up and, and really learning all the nuances. Of playing the position, but physically he looks great. You know, I mean, really, really pleased with what I've seen out of him for three days. How has he been handling the position change? Oh, he's great. Yeah, we, and, and we made that last year, so he, he's great. Uh, again, just a lot of teaching. You said last year when you heard that you still had to go through mental, mentally with reps with him. Have you seen a, him kind of take that next step because of the time that even he was hurt, he still was engaged? Yeah, I mean, he's he's. And then he has had skills and drills this summer, so you can tell he's worked hard at it and make the transition. Um, and then mentally, he's been engaged. Even when he was playing baseball, he was over here all the time. Uh, you know, he's just a very conscientious guy. I mean, he's, again, he's got the mindset of a quarterback, uh, so he understands the game. But uh, I've been really pleased with him these first three days. Anybody else? Rob